day. Thank you. Made her favorite this morning. I should put her in a good mood. Don't bring the negativity, Lulu. I'm optimistic. I'm a glass half full kind of elf. said about using magic to avoid your responsibilities. Can somebody sleep? It's somewhere. I've earned it. No can do. The boss gave strict instructions. There's an itinerary. Early morning wake up, check. Breakfast on deck. You have a meeting with Cupcake in the mail room. The boss wants you to know every facet of the business, bottom to top. He gets over a million letters a year. Did you know that? Fascinating. I can't tell if this is one of those times where you think it is, or you say fascinating and you don't really think so. Okay, so not fascinating. Uh, after the mailroom, you have a photo op with the young aspiring toy makers of the North Pole. Do I have to? They're just such nerds. I was a member of the YAT, MOT, and P. Shocker. That hurt my feelings. Guess I'm not building that thick skin after all. Probably gonna cry about that later. Shake it off, Pep. Finally, tonight's the Chief Fairy Banquet. So, big day, let's get cracking. I hate you. Can I get a smile, Cassie? Okay, thank you. Miss Cassie has another appointment. Cassie, can I have your autograph? I'm here. Go. Video game department needs to go into overtime again. No, the more we pay in overtime, the less we have in our quarterly earnings. No go. The union isn't going to like that. <laughs> so what's new? Set up a lunch with the union rep. What's his name? Pickles? Sparkles, sir. Pickles is head of accounting. Yeah, whatever. Listen, elves need to make toys as much as toys need to be made. Solid logic, sir. Sugar and spice department is having major problems with the candy canes. That doesn't look right. Good eye, sir. Worldwide peppermint shortage. Listen, I don't want any more excuses. I want results, Cottontail. It's gumdrop, sir. Ooh. On it, Chief. <laughs> right. We'll pick this up later. You got it, SC. Let's get back to work, fellas. You do know it's summer, right? I'm supposed to be on vacation. <gasps> vacation? From your many responsibilities. Well, you've inherited your mother's sense of humor, but unfortunately, not your father's business savvy, and both will be necessary when you take over the company. What's the hurry? Oh, you have something you'd rather be doing. I don't know. Meet new people? Look around. People everywhere. Yeah, elves. Elves are people, too. Kind of. No, Dad, Dad, I want to travel, see the world. You'll see the world plenty once you take over. You'll see it all in one night, once a year. Uh, Dad, I want to find myself. Oh, oh, hey, hey, let me help you out. <gasps> there you are, you're Cassandra Claus. You're at the North Pole, you're in your father's workshop, and it's where you're meant to be. So I'll see you tonight at the banquet. So the Tooth Fairy, huh? Oh, I know, she's a bit eccentric. Eccentric? She's a loon. She's an ally. 
Look, all of this is going to be yours someday, and you're going to bring such joy to the children of the world. Come on. Nobody wants me. They want you with the beard and the red suit. They don't want some Santa girl. People tend to lower their expectations when you're handing out presents. I'll see you tonight. Don't be late. Tick-tock! Miss Cassie, you're not dressed. You know, and people say you're slow. You were supposed to be at the reception. Why do people say that? Just relax, okay? I don't really do that. You got this letter this morning. I'll take this, and when I come back up, you'll be dressed and ready. Yeah, if you need to believe that, absolutely. Oddly, that didn't make me feel better. Open it, you do it. Okay. No, I'll do it. That's fine too. No, you. This is from a university. In the real world, why would a university? Oh, wow. Oh, oh geez, okay, okay. Dear Miss Claus. Are you crazy? Don't read it out loud, just, just read it to yourself and then tell me. I didn't get in. Of course not. You did, Miss Cassie, you got in. I got in. You got in. I got in. Oh, I got in. <laughs> a real university in the real world. <laughs> a new place with new people. I, I'm going to learn everything. <laughs> We're bonding. <laughs> Did your dad know? Oh, he's going to kill me. Teeth used to go for a quarter, now kids want 10, 20 bucks. I mean, what are we talking about, am I right? No idea, what are we talking about? I'm talking merger. See, you have the liquid cash, we have an army with wings. We help with toy distribution, you help with tooth cash. Bing, bang, boom, both holidays are locked in, kids are happy, life moves on. My mother, the uh, tooth fairy, she's single and ready to mingle with you. And I know your wife passed away I only bring it up because of the Jack Frost murder. It seems you're open to powerful families uniting. And we also have a powerful family, Mr. Claus. I'm gonna walk away from you now, but it's only because I don't like you or what you have to say. So, you'll think about it. These tooth fairies are insane. Every single one of them, the whole family. Uh-oh. What did you do? What are you talking about? I'm just standing here. You're giving me the look. I know the look. Okay, so I applied to college, and I got in. Yay! <laughs> Education is super important. You say that, right? Now, your mother said that, not me. I don't understand. Why would you want to leave the North Pole? First of all, the climate is terrible. There's total isolation, and I don't have any friends, okay? And, and the elves just Kidder and my every whim and... Ugh. Well, how terrible for you. I don't like it, Dad. You know, we have a plan, Cassandra. I hate the plan. No, you are going to apprentice in the family business, and then this Christmas you're going to marry the Frost Bowl. I don't want to marry someone I've never met. Well, the Frost family and ours have a very delicate alliance, and you have been betrothed to Jack Jr. since you're three days old. Yeah, and I haven't seen him since. Well, for your information, young lady, your mother in my marriage was arranged. 
Her father was Chris Kringle. My parents owned the only flying reindeer farm in the world. I know the story of you and mom, dad, but I just want some independence, some adventure before I settle into the life that you chose for me. Is that so crazy? My marriage, it was the best We have a plan, Cassandra. Whether you think so or not, the family business is important. Children are counting on us. I know. And this merger with Jack Frost will ensure that Christmas will go on and on and on. And to that end, you will marry the heir to the Frost Kingdom. Is that understood? Got it. Well, then I suppose a semester studying abroad wouldn't hurt anything. Daddy, really? So long as you come back this Christmas, you marry the Frost Boy, you take over the business. There's no complaints, there's no belly aching. You understand? Is it a deal? Deal. Your mother would have been so proud of you. Just wish she was here to see this. Oh, thank you, Daddy. Thank you so much. I'm going to regret this. Hello, college. Nice to meet you. Okay, this is better. Much better. No, it's too eager. Okay, all right. Um, I'm in the right season, and I look like a pink. Ooh, what moves next? Hey, what's up? Would you like a cup of tea, college? Okay, Cassie, you got this, you got this. I don't think they can take it. Nope, that's super weird. Hi! Whoa, nope, that's an elf greeting. Oh, no. Okay. That's Cassie. Hi, I'm Cassie. Perfect. What? Jack, calm down. No, we have an agreement. Our children will marry. Our empires will merge. Cassie, going away to school changes none of that. Besides, your son's been going away to school for years now. Ah, an all-boys boarding school. Not a college with parties and dances and shenanigans. What happens if she refuses to come back? Hmm? I will not have my family's fortunes resting on the whims of a flighty teenage girl. I hear your concerns. Our merger is secure. My daughter is level-headed and responsible. And she is going away to school. That's your final decision? It is. I would keep a close eye on your daughter. Hi. Oh, elves. Pop. It's a pep. Hmm? What? You called me pup. Might I say you're looking mighty sharp. Trim the whiskers, drop some elbies. I'm no fashionista, but whatever you're doing, keep it up. No sugar, no carbs, discipline. That's the secret. No sugar, not even cookies? You love cookies. Oh, no, no, that is the old me. No cookie tastes as good as healthy feels. I don't know, cookies taste pretty good. So look, Plip, you have been my daughter's personal elf for a long time now, right? I know, she can be a little difficult. Hold on, I just... I realized you called me into your office and you've never done that before. Um, I'm sorry, whatever it is I did, I didn't mean to do it. Are you gonna fire me? No, 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 no. Please don't fire me. No, 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 no. I have a special mission for you. Sandra, let's go. Oh, it's a lot of wax. It's the essentials. 
Yeah. Right. Well, listen, I have a surprise for you. I want you to meet your new roommate. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, she'll be your valet, your maid, your bodyguard, whatever you need. Bodyguard? Mm -hmm. I'm small but wiry. Ninja fast. Uh, Dad, can I talk to you for a second privately? <sighs> oh, yes, sure. <laughs> What's the deal? I'm not taking an elf with me to college. You have never been on your own before. I need somebody to keep an eye on you. But, uh, she's so weird. She's an elf. Billy Stevens. Uh, yeah. Naughty. Huh? It's Chad DeFranco. Naughty. <sighs> Don't smile at her, Trevor. I know where you live. None of these boys are nice. They're the nice one. Dad. It's so small. Punks need to know I am making all this. <laughs> Look, I know you think I'm being overprotective. Maybe I am. But this is the real world. This isn't like home. You're, you're special. You're a princess and you have these unique abilities and people don't understand them and what they don't understand, they fear. What do you mean? I mean who you are, where you're from, who your father is, you know, just don't go zipping down any chimneys. Well, then how am I supposed to, like... Don't you just trust me? You want to fit in, just don't... Just let them know how special you are. Okay. Okay. Oh. Um. It's for emergencies. Only. I got it. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I love you, Daddy. I love you, too. Hey, Dad. Yeah? Thank you for letting me do this. What your mother would have wanted. in here i made it homie okay no 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 christmas let's get one thing straight i don't want you here my dad does oh okay ouch i just want a normal college experience okay i don't want christmas decorations in august i, I don't want weird hats or pointy shoes or you propped up on a shelf causing mischief that's not really my thing i'm too big for most shelves no weird elf stuff Got it, Miss Cassie. Just, just Cassie, okay? You're not my servant anymore. You're, um, my little sister now. In elf years, I just turned 139, so technically You're my I... little sister, okay? You're just a regular human girl. Copy that, Cassie. Quick follow-up. What do regular human girls do? We'll figure it out. Okay, yeah, yeah okay, okay. Sorry, I needed that. Too elfy? It's a little elfy. Look at all the real people. No magic, just doing their own thing, whatever they want to do. It reminds me of my days at North Pole University. I majored in reindeer psychology. Reindeer are complicated. Okay, just act normal. I don't want to look silly on my first day. <laughs> oh. Miss Cassie? Cassie, sis? Oh. oh. You okay? What hit me? Uh, an Aaron's Frisbee. Sorry! My bad. The wind caught it. No problem. What? No problem! Can I give you a hand? Yeah, thanks. 
Wow, you're the prettiest boy I've ever seen. Well, thanks. I'm JR. Oh, I'm, I'm Cassie Claus, and this is Pep. Her sister. Claus? Like, like Santa Claus? Nope. Nah. <laughs> no way! <laughs> That's crazy. That's ridiculous! Okay. No relation. You ready for classes to start? Oh, super excited. <laughs> but not in a weird way. In a totally normal way, like everybody else. Except, I don't know how that is. Th this is my first time away from home. That's a lot of information. I'm, I'm like, totally cool with it. <laughs> I'm heading to the bookstore now. Well, crazy coincidence. So am I. May I escort you? I like how we talk. <laughs> yeah, that would be great. Thanks. The more the merrier. Sweet. What kind of soap do you use? Because <laughs> you smell pretty. Uh, Pep, I'm a little chilly and I forgot my jacket. Do you mind going back and getting it for me? Sure thing, sis. Wow, she's enthusiastic. And she's driving me crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get out of here before she comes back. Is that mean? That's totally mean. Let's go. <laughs> I just moved back to the States, did some boarding school in Switzerland. Oh, wow, that's so exotic. You know, I prefer Paris or London. See, I've never been anywhere. Oh, you're here now. Oh, that's true. New place, new people, new parents. You know what I just realized? You're my first friend here at college. Oh, you're mine too. <laughs> well, look at us. You know, this might make a great story someday. Ah, okay. <laughs> this isn't happening. Come on, I don't think you understand. That number? That's a price. You give me that amount of dollars in American currency and you get to take the book home. Yeah, no, no, no. That's I, how it works. I, I get it. I hear what you're saying. I, I, I get that. But like I said, if the card isn't working, it's a financial aid glitch. Okay? And that's all me. I'm on that. But there's that whole thing where I need books for classes, and if I don't take them now, they're gonna get sold out. And then there's that thing where I don't have books for my classes, which is a problem. Okay, I feel like you can hear me, but I honestly can't tell. $498. Oh, come on, man. Sorry, hey, sorry, just give me a second. Compromise, compromise. You keep the books under the counter, I come back tomorrow when financial aid is open, you got the books, I got the money, win-win. Yeah, we don't do that. Hi, hello. Hi, I'm sorry, I'm almost done. You're done now, unless you have $498. If I had any money, I wouldn't be on financial aid. Next. Um, will, um, will that do it? What? What? Are you for real? I am for real, yeah. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <sighs> uh, okay, hi, uh, yeah, books. Well, um, thanks for going to the bookstore with me. Oh, my pleasure. Did you forget your books? Oh, no, they're in my bag. All your books for all your classes are in that little bag. It's uh, a deceptively big bag. I mean, I guess so. I'd like to see you again. Well, sure, we're friends. What if I want to be more than friends? Well, I... Don't freak out. I'm not asking you to marry me, just, you know, maybe a date. Think about it, okay? I'll see you around. Uh, bye! Hello, Cassandra. Why are you just sitting in the dark? You scared me. I fetched your sweater for you. Oh, wow. I'm sorry. I just, I totally forgot. It's funny how you'd forget, being so cold and all. Pep, I... You ditched me! I looked for you all day. I thought I lost Santa Claus's daughter, ruined Christmas, and that Santa was gonna kill me, and worse, be mad at me, and then I'd go on the naughty list, and once you're on that list, it's super hard to get off. Plus, you hurt my feelings. Oh, Pep, I'm sorry, I really am. No, you're not. I'm just some weirdo elf, and you wish that I wasn't here. That's not true. Okay, that's not totally true. I just, I don't want a servant, okay? I, I want to be normal and you're... Uh... 
all up in your business? Yeah. I can be a bit much. I'm just trying to help. I don't need your help. But your dad... He's not here. It's just you and me. And I don't need a babysitter, okay? Okay. I will give you room to blossom. Sure. Thank you. Now that that's out of the way, what happened with you and the good-looking boy? Well, um, we went to the bookstore and then we kind of spent the day together. You and the boy with the pretty hair spent all day together? I'm conflicted because A, holy cow, that's awesome, but B, you're engaged. I didn't mean to. I mean, I thought JR and I were just becoming friends. You thought? Well, then he told me that he liked me more than friends. That's so naughty! <laughs> That's actually, like, really naughty. Oh. Oh, you've already found money. Yeah, that is who I am. I've been looking everywhere for you. You never told me your name. Was I supposed to? Yes. Well, I'm Cassie Claus. Cassie Claus. Hey, I'm Sam. Hi. Wow, uh, I just wanted to say thank you, like, so much. That's crazy. Who does that? Who helps out a total stranger like that? Well, I had it, and you didn't. Anyone else would have done the same. No, literally nobody would have done the same. Hey, $500 might not be a lot to you, but it means the world to me, and I'm gonna pay you back. Okay, if you'd like. I would like, I would like very much. I'm working on it. I sent seven long emails, and I spent three hours in the financial aid office. Hey, have you seen one of these? So it's a phone, right? And, but you can also send messages, and you can ask it questions. It's like magic. I, I totally get why people are on these things all the time. You miss the whole cell phone internet thing? Is that what you're telling me right now? Yeah. I mean, where I'm from, we just don't have that. I mean, my dad still writes lists with like scrolls and parchment. You're kind of weird, huh? Well, that's not very nice. <laughs> no, no, it's only not nice if I'm saying I don't like weird, but I happen to think there's a significant lack of weird in the world, especially on this campus. I'm a fan. Cassie. Hey. You're, uh, the guy with no money. Right. Uh, JR, this is Sam. What's up? 
So Cassie, there's an amazing party tonight, and well, I need a date. And I need to leave. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, we'll catch you later, bro. Yeah, sure, bro. <laughs> Bye, Cassie. Bye, Sam. So, pick you up at 11? 11? At night? Well, nothing cool happens before 11. Come on. OK. <sighs> but I can't. Let me guess. Boyfriend back home, right? We're just friends, Cass. I mean, you want to meet new people, right? Know where there are lots of people? Parties? Parties. can't just come in here whenever you want. Oh, can't I? I'm sorry, Father. I wasn't expecting you. You were to keep me apprised. Class has just started. Do you think I care about that? Hmm? Good grades, dean's list, big man on campus, whoa. Do you even remember why I sent you here? To make Cassie Claus fall in love with me. I don't care if she loves you. I only care that she marries you. We're on track. Oh, really? And who is this? You're having her followed? Oh, does that offend your sensibilities? He's nobody. I can arrange to have him removed from the campus. No, I can handle him. Really? I won't let you down. If only I was confident of that. Gotta go. Oh, by all means, go. Go. Father, will you be visiting regularly? I like to keep an eye on my investments. It sounds like a date. It's not. He's picking you up, taking you to a party, you're getting all fancy. We're just friends, okay? And you smelling like flowers is just a coincidence. <sighs> Pap. Your dad would have a reindeer if he found out. You okay? Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's my first party in the real world. I don't know if I'd call college the real world. <sighs> There's nothing to be nervous about. I mean, they're just kids, and just like you. Well, not exactly like me. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, maybe not. Huh. JR, there's a situation back in my hometown, and it's not changing. I mean, no matter how cute and charming you might be. Do you think I'm cute and charming? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to be serious. No, no, I get it. You're, you're spoken for. He's a lucky guy. Hey, come on. Let's go mingle. Yeah. I don't know how to do that. Just stick with me, kid. Come on. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, I love your outfit. Oh, thank you. Oh my gosh, I was sitting next to an English hawk the other day, and I was trying to figure out if that's your natural hair. Yeah. Oh my god, it is not. I'm getting some like major theater major vibes. No, 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 no. They're too fun. I'm thinking more like maybe science or something. Oh, something that probably doesn't make a lot of money. Right? Like, like sociology or psychology. I'm declared. Yeah, I can't decide. I just, I want to learn everything. I'm declared. I knew it. You have kind of a whimsical, flaky vibe. Thank you so much. Are you a Scorpio? I don't know what that is. Are you going to flood? Oh my god, of course she is. Of course you are. Yes. Yes. I'm getting a drink. Want one? Thank you. Yeah, sure. 
So how do you two know each other? Oh, well, I, did you know that his parents are like super important? I heard that too, only I heard rich. Super rich. It's the same thing. Good point. Who well, yeah, just yeah. met? So I don't oh, well, you know, know he comes from money, right? Like old money? You can tell by the way he dresses. And I mean, have you seen his car? No. Yeah, he lives at the West Campus condos. Wow. I know, right? Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Thanks so much. So, what did I miss? Cassie didn't know you were rich. Oh my god, are you kidding me? What do you know? Cassie Claus looking distraught. Sam, what are you doing here? I'm stalking you. No, I'm just kidding. It's a shortcut from the library, and I heard the music. I thought I'd stand outside the party sad. Never mind. What's going on with you? Are you okay? Do you know what vodka is? Yes, I think I've heard of it. Yeah, okay, so you know it tastes nasty, right? Sure. Okay, JR poured me a cup of it, and I took a big gulp because I thought it was soda, and ugh, now I feel like a total idiot. What, because you don't like vodka? No, because I spit it on a girl. Oh, yikes. Yeah, and now I just want to die. Reasonable reaction. Mm -hmm. Your standing in the college social hierarchy is threatened. Yeah, you should probably just quit school. Or you could blow off this party and you come hang out with me. I don't know, either one, but I'd go with option B. We can hang out. Hey, I talked to Brianna down. You again? <laughs> yeah, like a bad penny. Private party, dude, okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm going. This is uh, my friend here, though, so maybe don't spike your drink. Society frowns on that stuff, you know? So do I. Okay. Okay. Bye, Cassie. Look, when I said I was getting you a drink, well, I thought you understood that well, I, meant... It, look, it's all new to me. I... You want to go back inside? Yeah. You scared me there, in the bushes, but did you see that? I think that was snow, it's August. Look at me, Sam. How do you know my name? I know a lot of things. I know that you're late in paying your college tuition. You're working minimum wage. I also know you're friends with Cassie Claus, and I would like to offer you a job. Okay, I'm gonna go with a resounding no, cause you are freaking me out, dude. <laughs> I'm from out of town. No kidding. Your friend Cassie's father is worried about her, Sam. She's led a sheltered life, never been out on her own. I would like to tell her father that a nice young man is keeping an eye on her. That's the job offer? You wanna pay me to watch out for Cassie? And to keep me updated. And I'm not gonna spy on her. Just be her friend, Sam. That's all. Now I can put you on retainer for, uh, oh, let's say $500. I had a great time tonight. Yeah, it was super fun, other than the whole me embarrassing myself bit. No, 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 that was my fault. Okay, and I'm sorry. Yeah, you already said that. <laughs> and it's still okay. You know, just getting to be near you tonight, it was... Hi there, party people! <laughs> Did you raise the roof? You know, I'm a beat. It's getting pretty late, right? And you should go to bed, sis. In a minute. Go away. <sighs> Sorry about that. <laughs> um, good night, JR. <laughs> good night, Cass.
It's always amazing. Really. Oh, hey, thanks. Wait, could I get some um, whipped cream? Yeah. And do you want some sprinkles and like cherry on top too? That would be so nice. Hi. Hi. You really like sweets, huh? Oh, yeah. Where I'm from, everybody eats sweets. But I'm really trying to cut back. Now I only eat sweets when I'm stressed or celebrating or bored. Right now I'm stressed, so. It's a good system. Why the stress? Oh, this. I hate it. Yeah, well, cake will help. Subject change. Yes. I have an early Christmas present for you. But it's 102 days until Christmas. It's very weird that you know that. <clears throat> Hey, money. It's everything that I owe you. Plus two dollars interest because I'm a generous guy. Did financial aid come in? Something like that. Thanks again. You're welcome again. Hey, fun fact. In addition to my many obvious gifts, I'm also a calculus whiz. <laughs> really? You doubt me? Okay, well you seem like you would pretend to be good at calculus just so you can hang out with me. <laughs> Oh, that is so modest of you, but I would do that. In this case, however. Math genius? Exactly. Come on. Wait, we're leaving? Yep, we're leaving. Change the locale. But there's cake. Come on, Claus. I'm teaching you math. Well, then let me just get some frosting fuel. Whoa. 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 Okay, so we just need to use the first derivative to find the equation of the quadratic function. Okay, you just sounded really smart just then. Are you a math major? Uh, Pre-law. Wow, I didn't know that. Well, you don't know anything about me. <laughs> and I know even less about you. You're like the most elusive person I've ever met. That's not true at all. Okay, where are you from? I'm from north, up north. See, who says that? Who says that? You're like an enigma. Come on, let's get down to it. We'll go one for one. You ask me a question, I ask you a question. We have to answer. Deal? No, okay, this is complicated for me. <laughs> Are you really making chicken noises? I make mean chicken noise. <laughs> All right, okay, fine, fine. Okay, I, I will do it, but I get to ask the first question. Okay? Okay, um, why do you want to be a lawyer? An occupational question, very bold and exciting. All right, well, my dad has a lot of lawyers and they always seem anxious. Okay, well, I'm anxious already, so I figured why not? I'm not answering the question. All right, so, buzzkill. Um, my parents, uh, they sort of ditched me when I was little and uh, uh, I was in foster care. And I got in, I got in trouble, as you do. And there was this, uh, this lawyer woman who helped me. Not because she needed to or for money, just she wanted to, I guess. Pro bono. <laughs> Sounds like a hard way to grow up. Yeah, and that's what I want to do. I want to help little kids who don't have anybody. My turn. You said your dad has a lot of lawyers, so I'm guessing your family's loaded, huh? <laughs> Dad is, um, mom died when I was little. Hey, sorry. Never said anything about your mom. Well, you never said anything about foster homes, so. Fair enough. So just the two of you then? You and your dad? No, there's three of us. Me, my dad, and his business. <laughs> he likes his business more than me. It wasn't always like that. He, um, he used to be jolly. Losing someone can change a person. Uh, well, I have class. Yeah, it's so. got work. <laughs> <laughs> Same time tomorrow? Same time. Same time tomorrow. Gazebo, romantic body of water, and calculus, because I'm going to tutor you, because I need it. <laughs> tutor me. And woo you simultaneously. I told you I'm unwooable. Mm -hmm. Everyone's wooable. Yeah, you just wait and see. I'm going to wear you down, Claus. You're just gonna look up from your textbook one day and just go, hey, I'm totally crushing on Sam. He's so dreamy. Well, yeah, I don't think that's gonna happen. Yeah, we'll see.
-hmm. What's the deal with you and Frat Boy? <laughs> JR and I are just friends. Great. Do so you want to go out with me? It's two questions. I mean, it's one question. I just phrased it wrong. I can't keep that, though. It's like the best thing I own. Well, what if I like it? All right, maybe you can keep it. I'm gonna keep it. The midterm? A minus. Yes. <laughs> cool. That's that's great. My my work here is done. <laughs> Wait, where are you going? Well, your training is complete, young Padawan. Do you want to get a hot chocolate to celebrate? I'm fine. I can buy my own hot chocolate, thanks. That's not what I meant. You know I'm like a person, right? With the uh, feelings and stuff. Sam, what's wrong? Nothing. No, okay, lots, lots is wrong. Lots is wrong. I like you. I like you. And you know that. <laughs> and you like him. Him who? Oh, JLR, you and I are just friends like you and me. No, we are different. This thing, this is great. It's not at all comparable to you and the Ken doll. I'm not into him. So what about me? I can't. I'm not... Available. You mentioned that. Why? 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 That's my question for today. Why aren't you available? Who's the mystery man? See you around, Cassie. I'm engaged to someone I never met, okay? What? Like an arranged marriage? Yes, to merge the family businesses. Wow. Okay, didn't expect that. <laughs> or that. I'm sorry. I don't know why I did that. I, I just did it. I, I've never been kissed before, so. I still haven't. <laughs> now you've been kissed. <laughs> Where'd you come from, Cassie Claus? North Pole. <laughs> I want to tell you the truth. I want to tell you everything, but I'm not supposed to. <laughs> Just, you can trust me. Okay. Um, Santa Claus is my dad. Uh, we live in the North Pole, and he makes toys and gives them to all the nice boys and girls across the world. Say something. Why are you trying to be funny right now? I'm not. That's the truth. Santa's your dad? Ho, 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 fat guy in a red suit, Santa. Yeah, except that's not him at all. I mean, he never wears the red suit. He, he diets all the time, and he hasn't laughed since my mother died. Reindeer? Elves? Yes, reindeer and elves. We've got a lot of them. Actually, um, Pep, my sister. 
Not really my sister. Elf? Exactly. Okay, what is going on? I tell you I like you, we kiss. Twice. Yeah, and then you go full weirdo on me? Santa's your dad, your sister's an elf? If you don't like me, you can just tell me, Cassie. You don't have to make stuff up. No, I would never do that. Okay. I'm... Okay. Okay, um... Hey, I... I don't... See you around, Cassie. What the... Mr. Frost? Hey, Mr. Frost? It's me, Pep! We met at Santa Claus's office? Um, you glared at me? You. Not in the mood for your freaky stuff, okay? I've had a rough day. What do you have to report? Uh, uh, I have to report that I had a little heart attack, okay? Not a big one, but an EKG would confirm it. <clears throat> what do you want? Man, Cassie aced her calculus midterm. How's that? Tell her dad she's fine. I'm afraid your assurances are not enough. Unless, of course, you would like Miss Claus to become aware of the money that has changed hands. Whoa, you're threatening me? <sighs> I've been watching out for her, man. I haven't done anything wrong. I doubt she would see it that way. She's been hanging out with some preppy guy. Says they're just friends. Um, she also said she's in some sort of, like, old school arranged marriage or something, but I'm pretty sure she's making that up too. Oh, go on, elaborate. She said her dad is Santa Claus. Cassie Claus, funny, right? Said she's from the North Pole, is traveling with an elf. But you don't believe her, do you? I'm not six years old, dude. And no one else in this university would believe her either. They may think she's mad. <laughs> Okay, um, no offense, man, but your social skills are, like, off the charts terrible. Spend more time with people. Have you heard of fantasy football? That's her, I would die. She doesn't look crazy. Do I have something on my face? <laughs> I know. Oh, look who it is! Uh, have you guys met my sister back? OMG, she actually looks like one. Yeah. One what? How does she go in public with those ears? <laughs> Pep, come on. Oh, that annoying little voice, she sort of sounds like one to me. That's my sister you're talking about. Well, your sister's a freak and so are you. It's okay, Cassie, let's go. What's going on? I don't know. Cassie! Have you seen it? Seen what? Well, your buddy from the bookstore? He's making a fool of you. What's this? <laughs> They popped up on the school site, now they're everywhere. This is so mean. This doesn't look like me. We don't look like this. This is a misrepresentation. Elves are fictional characters, but if they were real, they'd be way more attractive than these stupid photos. 
I don't understand. I mean, why would he do this? Well, did you two fight? He was jealous of our friendship. Well, there you go. This is him getting even. He just, he seems so nice. Sometimes people aren't what they seem. Hi, uh, can I talk to Cassie? You've got a lot of nerve showing your face here. She's not available for that. It's okay. Apparently, she is available, which is surprising to me, but let me tell you something, pal. You don't know nothing about elves. Just come on. Does this even look like me? You're internet famous. <laughs> is this funny to you? Uh, some kind of joke? Why would you do this? Okay, that's why I came over. I was afraid you might think I had something to do with this. Are you saying that you didn't? I sat around making Santa memes. How much free time do you think I have? Well, apparently when it comes to hurting me, you make the time. I mean, I, I told you about my family and confidence. Your family? Yeah. Nobody knows who I am or where I'm from. I haven't told anyone except for you. The Santa thing? Okay, I only told one person about that. Why did you tell anyone? You okay? Yeah, I'll, I'll be in in a minute. She's fine. This is how you treat her? After what she's done for you? Cassie. Please. Sam, I don't want to be friends with you anymore. Okay? Hey, it's gonna be okay. All this will blow over. Crack a smile and say my name. I can't wait to hear your voice again. I know you said no decorations, but. Well, I'll go ahead. No, it's pretty. The blame. I like it. But you can't say you didn't see this coming. Well, I know I might be crazy, but it's nothing new Wrapped up in you Wrapped up in you All right, yeah, hot chocolate And marshmallows What's hot chocolate without marshmallows? What do you want, Sam? Just to talk. It's too late for that. Why, why, why is it too late? It's like the season of forgiveness or something. You humiliated me in front of the whole school. I just wanted to be normal and you ruined that for me. Don't say that. Just leave me alone, Sam. Okay, okay, fine, fine. I'm gonna leave you alone, but I need two minutes. Okay, two minutes. You got one. Okay, um, I swear, I swear I didn't put that stuff on the internet. Okay, but I, I think I know who might have. Okay, what I'm about to say, it, it sounds awful. It is awful. There was this old guy, and he, he said he worked for your father. My father? Yeah, he said your dad's really protective, and, and he wanted to pay me to keep an eye on you, and I would report to him. You were paid to spy on me? That sounds worse when you say it like that. Well, how did you expect me to react to this? Uh, you just say, Sam, you're an idiot, but I forgive you, and let's go to Winter Formal together. What? We can dress up and go just as friends. That's fine. No, 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 no. I I'm going to the Formal with JR. <sighs> oh, him? Oh, come on. Not him, Cassie. That's not the guy for you. He's, he's fake, and he's boring. You don't know him. I know you. The minute's up, Sam. You heard all that? Enough to know he really likes you. Do we get ready? 
Kara's coming to pick me up. We need to talk. Uh, it's okay? Cassie's sister? Elf. I'm her elf. Personally assigned by Santa himself. <laughs> Congratulations. Look, I get that you girls hate me, but this whole thing has been blown so out of proportion. Cassie made some jokes about Santa. I didn't think she believed they were true. I never thought she was crazy, and I certainly didn't want to embarrass her. I believe you. You do? Sure, but I'm also super naive. I wanted to ask you some questions about that mysterious man you were talking to. Did he have a pointy face? Pointy face? Yeah. Creepy blue eyes? Yeah. Did you get the shivers when you were near him? Shivers? Shivers, man! Were you cold? Yeah, yeah, I, I was cold. I knew it. Jack Frost is on campus! Jack Frost is a fictional character. You've got to open your mind, man. He's real, Santa's real, I'm freaking real. Now let's get to what actually matters. How do you feel about Cassie? It doesn't matter how I feel. She hates me. No, she doesn't, Sam. I can tell when she looks at you. Look, I'm a simple elf. I make my toys, I eat my candy, I love to frolic. Frolic? Elves frolic. But I know this. You have to follow your heart, and if you like her the way I think you do, then you have to tell her. That was inspiring. You're right. You bet your buttons I'm right. Now let's get to that dance. Thank you. I would never dance with anyone like that. Thank you. Wow, you're a really great dancer. Well, I have been taking classes all my life. Dance, piano, French. Oh, Francais. My father insisted <laughs> on it. Well, your dad must be really proud. <laughs> Not really, but he will be. Cassie, there's something I need to tell you. I haven't been completely honest with you. What do you mean? Well, my name for one, JR, it's... Well, it's a nickname. Why would you lie about your name? Because my real name's Jack Frost Jr. Wait, hold on. You're who I'm supposed to marry? I wanted to meet you. You know, see if I liked you. See if you liked me. Look, okay. I know this is a lot to drop on you, but our families need us. And getting to know you these past few months, it's it's made me certain that you're the woman who I want to spend the rest of my life with. Oh wow. What's happening here? Oh okay, you're doing the thing. This is happening. Right now. In front of everyone at the, at the dance? Cassie Claus, will you marry me? Whoa, 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 what's, what's happening? Do you mind 
We're kind of having a moment here. Cassidy, the man who was paying Sam, I'm winded. The man who was paying Sam is Jack Frost. Your father was here? His father? Plot twist. You the guy? I'm the guy that'll be Cassie's husband. Which will happen. You've been behind this whole thing, man. You set me up. Back off, man. I'm not gonna back off. Cassie, you deserve something better than a walking haircut in a nice suit. <laughs> Funny. Ah! Oh, oh. Let's get out of here. No, 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 no! You kicked me? I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I had nothing to do with it. But that does sound like something he's capable of. Sam, I'm so sorry I blamed you. It doesn't matter now. I, mean, I tried to fit in, but I don't belong here. What? My father needs me. What about what you need? Isn't that more important? It's not. JR, ask me. Cassie Claus. Will you marry me? Yes. How you doing? Oh, come here. You face that bow tie. Just did so crooked. I don't know why we have to do this today. It's the busiest day of the year. Well, that's what the Jack Frost contract said. Mm. There. Very dapper. You look beautiful. <laughs> Where's that smile? When you were a little girl, you used to come running down the steps every morning with this huge smile on your face. I haven't seen that smile in a long time. I'm not a little girl anymore, so. You know how important this marriage is. We'll cement our ability to continue our work. I know. You may be thinking of that other young man, your friend Sam. He's a really nice boy, Dad. I think he would have really liked him. It doesn't matter now, because I'm never going to see him again. That's just the way it is. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. I'm just... Can you just give me a minute? I'll be okay, I will. I just... I just need to be alone for a minute, okay? Yeah. What was it like 
Were they nice? I bet they were naughty. There's <laughs> lots of naughty ones, aren't there, Beth? Real people aren't so bad. They worry about silly things, and they don't eat enough sugar, and they definitely could be nicer, but they try. I think it's harder there. Of course, I was really popular. <laughs> the boys just threw themselves at me. Oh, you're in charge until I get back. Uh, but sir, the wedding. No, I'll be back before then. Count on you, Flip. I've got to go. I've got a lot of responsibilities now that I have real world experience. <laughs> she is so cool. <laughs> Sam, right? Go! Oh! You're, uh, who? Cassandra's father. Santa? I don't think we're on a first name basis yet, do you? Yeah, no, no. Uh, Mr. Claus. Huh? What's up? My daughter, she seems to be quite fond of you. Well, I'm pretty sure she's marrying someone else. Well, don't you think I know that? Yeah, no, 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 you probably do. That's why I'm here. She's only marrying him because I asked her to, but I'm starting to think that maybe, possibly, it's conceivable I may have made a mistake. Is that a question? I've checked you out, Sam. You've been on the nice list every single year. You know, that's quite impressive in this day and age. What do you think of my daughter? I think she's the weirdest, <laughs> most fun, smart, beautiful girl I've ever met. Go on. Let's take a ride. Call me Santa. Okay. Santa? Excuse me. Thank you. What's the delay? All the best weddings start late. It's a thing. And why am I talking to an elf? Where's Claus? The elf you're talking to happens to be in charge. And Mr. Claus is busy. And as soon as he's not, I'll send him your way. Excuse me. We have to pull the trigger on this. Frost is getting antsy. Where is my dad? I mean, where could you have gone, Pep? Where is my dad? It's time. Um, knock, knock. Now, our contract clearly states that the wedding must take place on Christmas Eve before sunset. Mr. Frost, I, I, my dad isn't if here yet. If the wedding I, doesn't begin immediately, the Claus family will be in breach of contract and all of Kringle industry will revert to Frost and Son. The toys, the distribution, the glory will be mine. Make your choice. <laughs> Smart girl. Well, I'll have them start the wedding march. I do not like him. I'm ready to do what I have to for my family. I'm really glad you're here. Wow. Expected reindeer, right? Everybody does, but they're inefficient and they smell to high heaven. But I gotta use them tonight, part of the gig. So Cassie says that you're um, studying law. Read this on the drive. What am I looking for? Loopholes. I want a way out. Find us. Where are we going? North Pole, of course. H hold on, you can't drive to the North Pole. No, you can't. This baby here has got uh, 650 reindeer under the hood. Flying reindeer. 
Come on. Do I need a jacket? No, I'll put the top. You look nice. Thank you. <laughs> Ladies, gentlemen, elves, fairies, and the best of you, the leprechauns. We are gathered here today to bring together these two young people in the bonds of matrimony. Hey, are you okay? I'm kind of freaking out. In the world of magic, these two families hold a very special place. And today they will be forever joined by this lad and lassie who love each other so deeply. If anyone here has any reason why these two should not be wed, we don't. Huh? I'm sorry, lass. What? You said we don't. No, I didn't. You did, actually. Ah, uh, you did. Oh, um, I guess that's because we don't actually love each other. Well, that's a problem. Right, it is. You know, I, I'm sorry, everyone. I'm so sorry. I, I'm calling this whole wedding thing off. You can't do that! Yes, I can! I can, can't I? I? Cool. Okay. Stop everything! Cassie already did! Huh? That's my girl. Sam? What are you doing here? I flew here in a car. Who's that? Those are elves. That's a big leprechaun. Sam, I... focus. Your dad brought me. He's very intimidating. I told him you rejected me in front of the whole university, but he seemed to think you'd want to see me. You look great, by the way. Oh, thank you. You too. This whole thing. It's my alone on Christmas Eve outfit. Oh. You know what? Let's cut to the chase because people are staring. Makes sense. Yeah, um, I think I'm in love with you. Wow, okay, I just came right out with that. Sure did. You know what, there's a lot going on right now. I don't really wanna marry JR, and I don't wanna marry you either. I I'm too young, I just wanna finish school and, and, and see the world. I should really talk to my dad. He's over there. Uh-huh, okay. Cassie? Mm hmm I'm in love with you too. <sighs> I'm pretty sure I'm in the clear in this thing. Hi. Oh, let's get that boy's Hi. mouth off of her. I'm just gonna go. Oh, oh yeah, do you think? Yeah. <laughs> Dad, I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm sorry about the wedding. I, I said I was gonna do the thing You're and then- Headstrong, just like your mother. I'm so proud of you. No, 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 we have a contract. Which you broke. Talk to my lawyer. Oh, yeah, no, that's me. Okay, uh, this is your contract. Uh, <laughs> Uh, section 1, Article B, Paragraph 9. Should either party make a statement they know to be false or otherwise act in such a way to mislead, deceive, or defame the other party, you know, like spying on her the last six months or spreading rumors about her at school, then this contract shall be rendered null and void. That has nothing to do the with... The marriage is off. It was a mistake to begin with. You won't survive without us. Goodness, charity, those are things of the past. Christmas cheer needs a patron. You know, the numbers, you say that you're right. 
But in a few moments, I'm going to climb into an old-fashioned sleigh, and I'm going to deliver presents to lots, lots of children. That's not about profit. It's about giving. I was so intent on saving our business, I forgot what our business was really about. Your mother was the best thing that ever happened to me. I was so lucky that our parents promised us to each other. But that was our life, not yours. I just want you to be happy, Cassie. You're a fool, Claus. Son, we're leaving. Hey, I'm really sorry about this. Are you kidding? <laughs> no way am I ready for marriage. And good luck with Sam. Hi. Hi. You, you will rue the day you cross the Frost family. Want a cookie? Fresh from the oven. No, I'm on a low-carb diet. Oh, no. Don't be silly. You could stand to put on a few pounds. I'll take a cookie. Mmm. Mmm. It is. It is very good. I'm stand up. I know. So, you met my dad. Big step. Huge. <laughs> We're not rushing to the altar or anything like that, but uh, do you maybe want to be my girlfriend? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. Cool. Cool. <laughs> so, are you gonna kiss me or what? Yeah. <laughs> Ahem. That's enough of that. Sam, how would you like to spend a few days here? I mean, is, is that all right? It's up to you. I mean, no one should be alone at Christmas. <laughs> it's my girl. Oh. <laughs> oh, and don't eat all the cookies! I gotta fill out the suit, huh? <laughs> Santa! Ow! Oh, your family is so weird. Eh, there's a shortage of weird in the world. Just a girl when daddy took me on his sleigh Up to our favorite mountain Where the reindeer liked to play We used to laugh He said I had mama's eyes As we talked about the future There was magic in his smile He said I had the power If I want
just a girl Off to college on my own Surrounded by so many friends But I still feel alone If I can fly Why is home so far away? Do I spread my wings or do I find the strength to stay? Just a girl That's what they see Nobody knows the other side of me I'm just a girl, beautiful girl. Oh, I'm just a girl.